Hey Game Makers! We're finally back with another tutorial! Today we'll be looking at transformation states. This will act similarly to the Final Fantasy games Pig, Mini, and Toad statuses, in which the hero can be afflicted with the state, and it will graphically show in the battle and the overworld, and you can toggle it on and off. For today, we'll only be covering how to do it for the heroes, as MV doesn't let you select both enemies and heroes with a single spell by default. Still. <laughs> To do this, we'll be using the Hime Toggleable States plugin. As usual, there are links to the Hime Works website in the description. Just make sure the plugin is on and we're all good. Now, for this example, we'll be making a Chibify state, so when the actor is afflicted by it, they'll be changed into a much chibier graphic. We'll be using the default MV styled graphics here, and when they're not in the Chibified state, we'll be using some graphics I threw together for my last game that look much more normal. In the database, let's create our Chibify skill. We'll be using this one for the actors to use, so set the scope to one ally. If you want your enemies to cast it on you, you'll need to set the scope to one enemy instead. You'll also want the occasion set to always. In the skills effects, you want to add state and create a state called chibied, or whatever kind of state you want it to be, and also have it call a common event. We'll be calling that chibify. Skill is done, now we can head over the chibied state itself. You can set the traits to whatever you want the skill to actually do, but the important thing is, in the note tags, write Toggleable State. With that plugin we mentioned, this will make it so we can turn the state on and off at will. With that all entered, head over to our Chibified Common Event. We'll want to set up a conditional branch for each potential party member, saying, If actor, in this example Akira, is chibied, change their graphic to the chibied graphic. Else, if she's not chibied, change her graphic to her normal one. Again, you'll need to set these up for each actor. And that's all! To recap, we'll use the skill, it will apply the chibied state to the character, or remove it if it's already afflicted by it. This will call a common event that says, if the character just got hit with chibify, make them look all cute, chibi, and deformed. If the character had its chibied state removed, we'll change their graphic back to normal. This is really nice for having areas in your game where you need to take a specific form to proceed, similarly to how it's used in, say, Final Fantasy III. Anyway, that is all. I hope you've all had a wonderful Christmas and New Year's, and if you want updates on new videos and other random gamey related things, feel free to follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Yay! Till next time, see you later gamers!